Today, we are going to tackle about our first lesson in science. Are you ready? Let's start! At the end of this video, you will be able to understand the properties of materials, whether they are useful or harmful. Now, let's try to understand. How are properties of materials used to minimize waste? Earth has everything we need to survive. There are also things that can harm us. For example, it has all the food that we eat to get the nutrients and energy in order to live. However, food once rotten can harm and destroy us. This is why it is important to know how to distinguish useful from harmful materials. It can save us from danger and distress. How can you identify if a certain material is useful or harmful? In this lesson, you will learn more about the properties that can make a material harmful and useful. Now, let's talk about how to recognize useful and harmful materials. When is a material useful? Materials are considered useful when it serves a purpose. These materials may have properties such as durability, resistance to water, heat or acid, flexibility, elasticity, and hardness. Some useful materials can also be reused. Take for example a container for any solid or liquid material. When it is already empty, it can still be used for other purposes as a flower vase, a coin bank, or a house decor. Whether a bottle is made of plastic or glass, it has a property that makes it reusable. When do we consider a material harmful? Some useful materials may also bring hazards. For example, broken glass jar can cause cuts or injury. Toxic substances may also be present in the things you commonly used, such as paints, cleaners, fumes, gels, or powders. These materials may bring harm to your health, environment, and other organisms when not used properly. That's why you should take precautionary measure when handling and using different materials. If there are useful materials and harmful materials, there are also materials that are considered waste. So when is a material considered waste? When a material already served its primary use and can be discarded, it is considered a waste. Waste can be classified as biodegradable and non-biodegradable. In Tagalog, biodegradable means nabubulok and non-biodegradable means hindi nabubulok. Generally, biodegradable materials can be decomposed by bacteria or other living things. Examples include fruit peelings, dried leaves, leftover food, paper, and the like. Non-biodegradable materials do not rot easily. Examples are plastic, styrofoam, cans, glasses, and the likes. Thank you for listening kids. I hope you learned a lot from this video. Now, you are ready to answer questions from your teacher. Good luck!